What is up YouTube? Calvin from My95 Muscle coming at you with another beauty today. This time it's a 1966 Mustang. This is a V8 car, 289. It comes with the premium pony package, which is pretty cool. I'll show you a couple of things that comes on that here in a second. So overall, the car is really solid. Rust-wise, there is no rust. Um, Paint-wise, there's a few chips and nicks and scratches and, you know, there's a little bit of fading going on in this rear quarter, but I'll take a faded paint solid car over a nice paint rusty car that's been covered up 10 times any day of the week. So this is what you get with your premium pony package. You got your uh, your saddle colored kind of seat inserts, your wood grain, your wood grain dash uh, with five bezel gauges, your pistol grip door handles, your embossed Mustangs on the seats, and there's probably one or two more things that I'm not really thinking of, uh, but it's definitely cool. So all the seats are embossed with the Mustangs running here. Pretty solid car, but let's look under the hood. Let's see if I can go ahead and pop. Ta-da! So under the hood, like I said, we got a 289, two barrel. Sounds amazing because we have a brand new exhaust on there and it's, it is like, it's perfect. It's a Flowmaster 40 series. So we do have manual brakes, which seem to work good. We have power steering and no AC. Pretty common for these. AC is a, a feature that most of them didn't get. We do have a couple of fog lights and oh there's a little bit of stuff on the body that's not perfect. I'm not sure what that is, like a like a little uh bit of filler or something. A couple little spots that you might not necessarily love, but no real big spots to be concerned about. The smallest little bubble right there. Well, let's check out this exhaust. Man, it sounds so good. So you can hear it running now. Got a little blip of the throttle if you can get past this wind noise out here. And let's take it for a little spin. So fuel gauge, looks like the oil pressure gauge is not working. Um, uh, it's hard to see with that reflection there. Uh, your ammeter and your temp gauge. Temp gauge works. Let's see if the, we got radio. Radio don't do nothing. Like I said, the brakes feel good. That's like a pretty good stop there and it stopped nice and straight. Do our little circle K crawl here. Dude's trying to get us a YouTube strike, jamming out to his music over there. So it definitely feels pretty peppy for a little two barrel, um, but it runs really, really good. It doesn't matter if it's cold or hot, it fires right up. This is one you could probably take on long road trips without even sweating. Let's kind of get on it a little bit here without hitting Tim's stuff. Yeah, that sounds good. 
So Flowmaster 40 on a 289 sounds amazing. We'll see if we can get Jamie to come out and hit the gas a little bit. I think that's good. Let me pause this while I holler at Jamie. Here we go. What a good sounding engine. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So that's gonna wrap up our little walk around virtual test drive of this guy. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And until next time.